okay, in this video, we're going to look at the different types of solutions that systems can have um, and kind of their characteristics. So, how are these solutions to a system? different from each other. We're going to look at their characteristics in, both visually and in equations. Uh, first, let's go over what the types are. There are three in total. Okay, uh, you have a one solution, a no solution, and an infinite solution. You may recognize these three types um, from our first unit and it is they are the same so this is okay um, kind of reference back to um, solving equations you had three different types of solutions there and these are the same three types um, in systems as well uh, and we're going to also look to see how they affect systems, just like how we looked at how they affected equations. All right, so we're going to start with um, the one you use the most, um, you know, the one you see the most often everything, which is a one solution. An example that would be like y is equal to x minus 2 and y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 1. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to graph them. Um, so I'm going to do this first equation in blue. So remember I start by graphing my y-intercept, which is at negative 2, and my slope is 1, so I go up 1 over 1. And I just continue that pattern all the way through the graph. And connect the dots. Okay, I'm going to do my second one in green. So I start here at 1 and down 1 over 2 because my slope is negative 1 half. Boom. Um, and then what I see here is I see, hey, Here's my solution point, because that's where my two lines intersect, and that is at 2, 0. Uh, so the characteristics of this, if I'm just looking at it visually in terms of a graph, okay, so I'm going to look at first, what I, uh, how a graph tells me it's a one solution is the fact that I have two lines that intersect each other. Um, and they literally give me only one possible solution, because they only cross each other one time. So, on a graph, you know it's one solution because you have uh, intersecting lines. That's how I see it in that visual sense. They cross one time, I get one solution. For slope and y-intercept, this is going to relate more to what's going on in the equation, or in the two equations that you get. So, in slope, what I should see, for it to be one solution, I should notice that the slopes, which here, uh, this is 1, this is negative 1 half, I should notice that the slopes um, are different numbers. I'm never going to have a one solution uh, with slopes that are the same. So, since this is 1, this is negative 1 half, it tells me it is a one solution because the slopes are different. If you're looking at the y-intercept, this is negative 1, this is 1, um, but they could actually also be the same. So y-intercept, they could be different, but they could also be the same. You're really focusing on one solution on if the slope is the same or not. If the slope is different, it's a one solution. Okay, for a no solution... Our example is going to be y is equal to 3x plus 1 and y is equal to 3x minus 3. Okay. And I 
I do this guy in red. So go up. I start at one and I go up three over one. Up three over one. And do the second guy in purple. I start this one down at negative three, and I go up three over one again. So what I notice on, with a no solution, visually what I notice here is I get a set of parallel lines. These are parallel lines. This space in between these two dots is the same every single time. So that's kind of what's telling me that they are um, parallel. So they will never um, intersect. And if they never intersect, I never get a solution. Okay. Um, how I tell that on in an equation with my two equations, well, they're both traveling at the same exact speed as each other, right? They both are going at the same exact um, speed. They're tilted at the same exact angle. And that is because their slopes are the exact same. So your slope is going to be the same number. And I do, and it is the exact same. Three and negative three, not the same. That will be a one solution. But three and three, they are the same exact number. I am also going to be concerned about the y-intercept for no solution. And I'm looking to see is that my y-intercept is also that they are different numbers. Okay. So... To be a no solution and just looking at the equations, I'm looking, hey, slope the same, y-intercept different, no solution. And if I were to graph it, I would see that I have a set of, oh, kind of erase my, my line there a little bit. I don't know exactly where. Something like that. Um, I see I have a set of parallel lines. Okay. Oh. Not there yet, almost. Uh, last one is going to be infinite solution. Our example there is going to be x plus 2y equals 9 and y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 9 over 2. Um, so to graph, remember to graph this guy, I need to get y by itself. So I got to do some work. I got to take this equation and get y alone. So I minus x from each side. 2y is equal to negative x plus 9. Divide everything by 2. y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 9 over 2. Now, I'm going to stop at this point because we should notice something we should notice that this equation just became the exact same as this equation. So, they're the same exact equation. Which means if I were to try and graph these two, it would literally just be one graph on top, okay, of another. So I could go through and I could say, hey, I'm going to graph this line. And then if I try and graph this one, it will be the same exact one. And it's called an infinite solution because every single dot on this line will work for both of these guys. So every single one of these is a solution. There's infinite possibilities 
of solutions on that line, and that is why it's an infinite, um, that's why we call it infinite solution. So what I'm looking for on the graph, is I'm looking for when I graph it, it makes, um, uh, I'm not going to use one, I'm going to use same, sorry, that it makes the same line. It is the exact same line. Because it's the exact same line in their equations, right, I should see that they have um, the slope is the same number and the y-intercept is the same number. Now, you might have to do some work, right? I had to manipulate this first guy to see that it was the same, but if you put them both in slope-intercept form, you should be able to see that and recognize, hey, these are the same exact line as each other. Um, that is it for these notes, kind of hopefully quick, short, and sweet on our three types. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. Um, and bring them into class. See you then.